Hey everyone, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Lit Code. In this video, we are going to learn about static variable and the static method. In our previous video, we have discussed about method in classes and we also learned sphere of the concept. Um, now we are going to learn about static and static, I can say it's very important to understand. So let's see with an example. So assume that I'm going to create a class called person and here I'm going to declare a age and it's going to start with zero and here I'm going to write another function so that is going to give me the age and here I'm just going to return age plus plus so whatever the age I'm getting I'm just going to um, add one to it right now I cannot call this directly because we know that to access any variable from the class we have to use this keyword right so this keyword actually means that it is going to um, refer the object or the instance of this particular class right so that is what this means here now i'm just going to create an object for this so const or uh, maybe person itself equal to new and then followed by the constructor right now here i'm going to log this so console.log and here i can say person dot get age right so if I'm going to display this, let us see what it's going to give us. So node then followed by all on static. Yeah. So we are getting this zero that is expected. Now let me copy and paste two times or maybe four times. And if I try to run this now, so I am expecting one, two, three. That's absolutely correct, right? Of course, we are getting this zero in the first time because we are using this as post uh, increment. If we do this pre increment, that is then it is going to be one for the first time itself that's not a problem right so we understand what is post and pre so let's not worry about that now this is absolutely fine nothing wrong about it we are getting this value and the value is in memory and of course we are getting this um, age as incremented each and every time whenever we are going to call this but the problem here is when i'm trying to create another object for the same class let's say that person one equal to new person and if I try to log this now, so let me log this again. And here I'm just going to change this to PR1, right? So Ctrl D to select the matching nodes and just um, edit and do that will work for sure. Now here we can see that or else let me just write a log here just to give some dash. That's fine. So let me clear and run again. So here we can see that the data is again getting reinitialized. That means whenever we are going to call a new constructor, this new and followed by the class name, that is constructor, right? So it is again going to reinitialize all my variables within the class. Now, the sometimes we in our application we might not want this to happen because we want our um, all the values to be just get incremented, not to reinitialize in each and every constructor. So at that point, of course, we cannot use this constructor and this method calling. Instead of that, we can use the static value here. For example, if I'm going to just make this as static now, and if I try to run this, it is going to give us not a number. So NA means uh, not a number. The reason is very simple. I said that this refers to the current class, right? So instance of the current class. But the static means we no need to get like this object or we no need to refer the uh, class instance rather we have to refer the class directly. So instead of this keyword if I write like this person and if I try to run this now this is going to work for sure and here you can see our data has been processed that means this age particular this age value is in the memory and whenever we are going to create a uh, object it is going to refer to the same object and whatever the value it has previously it is going to append one to it using this plus plus right so that's absolutely fine but instead of doing like this whereas referring to this class directly within this method i can use this method as a static as well so here if i make this as static and since it's static and the variable dolls i mean the variable and the method both are static i cannot i can use this as this this time so that means when I refer to this keyword now here, this is going to work for sure because both the variable and the functions, I mean the method, are 
static. But if I try to run this now, it is going to give us error says that person dot get age is not a function. That means whenever we have this static method, we no need to create this object. Instead of creating object, we can call that directly using the class itself. So that is another advantage of using static. So I'm just going to command this. And here I'm going to say console.log person dot get age. Right? So let me just copy and paste it again. Right? So let me clear and run. Now this time we can see our data has been just um, in the memory itself. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, we are getting each and every value by this adding operation. So that means if our method and the variable is in the form of static, then we no need to create object. Rather, we can just call the class directly and based on the class name, we can call the method. Now, not only method, we can also access the variable as well. So here I can say person dot age directly, right? So here if we give dot here, you can see we are getting this age and also we are getting this get age. So if I use this age and if I try to run this, of course, it is going to work for sure. So first time we have this zero. And again, when we call this get age, after that only it is going to do the uh, increment. So of course, both the places we will get zero and then we'll get this one, two, three, four. So that's absolutely fine, right? But in case if you want to see the first, as soon as you do the increment, of course, you can use this pre increment. And if I try to run this now, so here we can see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, right? So that is the difference between post and pre. I think we already talked about it or maybe we'll take this in a separate video. So I think that's it guys. So we'll also learn how to use the static methods and the static variable maybe in when we are going to build our protector framework. So at that point, we will definitely use this. But as of now, for our learning, just to know what is static and what is static method, um, I think this is pretty much enough. And if you like the video, consider subscribing to the channel and also give a thumbs up. And even if you don't like it, just let me know in the comment section so that I can improve myself and of course, um, give you better content. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, see you in the next one very soon.